I want to tell you a story about something I love, something that's changed my life. I want to tell you a story about what you call wireless, I call radio. It begins with a very sharp-dressed Italian man, Guillermo Mocconi, who, with his arcs, with his sparks, made contact with folks on the Titanic who wouldn't have survived otherwise, made contact with Teddy Roosevelt across the Atlantic. A much less well-dressed man followed from the United States. <laughs> Lee DeForest, who tinkered, who committed patent fraud, or accused people of patent fraud. At any rate, he invented a thing called the tube, the valve, the audion, the detector. And what Lee DeForest did with the detector was, of course, advertise it and sell it. It was America. It was the most sensitive. It was the most reliable. It was the detector. Your air is full of meaning. You must detect the meaning. That was Lee DeForest's mission. As this meaning-filled air expanded, we got networks. We got the National Broadcast Company. We got the Columbia Broadcasting System. As the networks grew, inevitably, here comes Orson Welles, The War of the Worlds, 1938, the first big hoax, the first big parody, the first big thrill, the first big horror story on the radio. But it was prophetic as well. Shortly thereafter, we're looking at radio during World War II, bringing a nation together, giving us something besides fear. What do we need to hang on? We need Reveille with Beverly. That's what we had. Six pianos, many violins, and the voice, the chairman of the board, Mr. Frank Sinatra, who persisted into the 1950s. Lucky strike, it's toasted. What does that mean? Do you smoke toasted cigarettes? I don't know, but you can hear it on the radio. Frank Sinatra, light up time, the chairman of the board. And in the 1950s, it changes again. It's Dewey Phillips at WHBQ in Memphis playing a little song by a guy named Elvis Presley. That's all right, mama, the phones light up. The airwaves explode. People get nervous. More networks start to appear. Regional networks of astounding regional music. Philadelphia, it's soul. It's 45 RPM. You can dance to it. It's an extraordinary explosion of regional musical invention. And it continues into the 1970s. AM radio is king. WROV 1240. AM in Roanoke, Virginia, O oh Lord A1240, Bart Prater, the king of the local AM radio DJs who taught me never puke when you announce and things move forward in time. Thank you, Bart. I took this with me to WFTD-FM in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, National Public Radio, NPR, 88.5 on your radio dial, playing progressive music for the triad, playing Big Star for Winston-Salem, and then, and then, automation. Then, corporate takeovers, not learning management systems, network management systems, <laughs> radio management systems, walled gardens, automation, content, delivery, commodities, and then the revolution. It's iPods, iPods. Yes, the return of radio, radio redux, podcast, DIY, carry it in your pocket, put it on your arm, run with it. You can now be a radio station. You can have a radio station. You can have a podcatcher, a podcatcher. That's your tuner, that's your detector, that's your Audion patent fraud. Brilliance, it is a podcatcher. It looks like Windows 3.1, but don't look at that soon. We bring this into education. Yes, some nutcase publishes this and puts all these little secret things in there from the world of rock and roll. I urge you not to look this up. But if it's great, we can do it in education. Radio will transform education. We will make it. It's Clear Channel again. Apple, are they the Clear Channel of the 21st century? I ask you, I don't know. What happened to RSS? Where did our lovely RSS podcatchers go? They are now on the iTunes store. But wait, 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 wait. DS-106 Radio, yes! You've heard of Radio Caroline. You've heard of Radio London. This is pirate radio for the 21st century. Make radio. Make pirate radio. Tune in right now. Well, no, not right now, but soon. And when you're looking at your handheld device, look what you got. You got Radio Lab. You got With Good Reason. You got the Tobolowski Files. You got What the Fuck with Mark Barron. You have got all the radio you can possibly consume right there on your mobile device, including the mother of all podcasts, Melvin Bragg, public intellectual, BBC. He interviewed Pete Townsend in the 70s. And now look at him. Dark Matter, Beowulf, the eunuch, the wealth of nations. And it's all right there. All right there on your podcatcher, in your pocket. The spirit of radio will not die. You call it wireless. I call it radio. It is a worldwide mind. Thank you.